Hey there, biology students. So today what we're gonna do is talk about some microscopes because when you get back, that's what we're gonna be starting to do is some microscope, microscope stuff. So what this video is gonna do is talk to you a little bit about the pieces, what they do. That way, uh, when you get back, you'll kind of have an understanding of the parts and what all they do for you, okay? So first off, we have two different types of microscopes um, in the classroom. We have the biocular and the monoocular. Mono meaning one, bi meaning two. So they both work out exactly the same thing. They magnify things the exact same same, uh, same amount of power. Uh, the only difference is, is whether you use two eyes or one eyes. Some people even still um, do not like using both eyes with these. So sometimes they just choose to use one. So the biocular can still be used as a monoocular. But for today's purposes, we're just going to take a look at the biocular one because the majority of the microscopes I have are in fact biocular. All right, so the first thing you have to do is always unwind the cord from the base and plug it in. And you always want to test your microscope to make sure everything's working properly as if the light comes on. So there's a light switch at the bottom, either at the base here or behind the microscope over here. So what you do is just flip on the light to make sure it works. If it doesn't, let me know. Sometimes it could be a, an issue with the outlet um, having to be reset. So, okay. But for the most part, this one works great and we're going to continue to use it that way. Some of the main pieces that you're going to notice right away are called the eye pieces up here at the top. These are the things that you look through. Okay, just kind of like a scope on a deer rifle, all right, if you are a hunter. So as you look through them, okay, you'll be able to see the light coming through. That's a good thing. If you can't, it could be another issue with the microscope, and that's when you probably need to ask for help, all right? You also have the eyepiece tube, which is once again just a tube uh, with some lenses in it to help magnify your vision even further. After that, you have what is called the head of the microscope, this top part up here. It swivels. Uh, you can also tighten it up on the side here with a little screw. And that screw will lock it into place so you can't move it anymore. But as soon as you loosen it, it can rotate freely. All right, so works really great if you're wanting to share with your lab partners. So if your lab partners are trying to view something and you don't want to move it, you can literally just turn it. Okay. Uh, the next thing you got is the rotating nose pieces. These are your uh, objective lenses on the rotating nose piece, but this helps you to move it from side to side so you can figure out what magnification is best for looking at the specimen. All right. Um, like I said, you have your objective lenses, but you have the smallest one, which is red. That is 4x, which means it's four times your normal vision. You have the 10x, which means 10 times your normal vision. You have the 40, which is 40 times your normal vision. And then you have the last one, the 100x. Now, here's the catch though. This last one is usually a white or a silver color on the band. Uh, this one is not to be used. And the reason why, if you read on it, it'll actually say oil. You have to have a special oil to put on the slide so that it, the lens does not get scratched as you rotate it. All right, they do push in a little bit like so, but ultimately this one, the lens sticks out. And if you don't use oil, scratch it. So we don't use that one. The highest we go is the blue one, the 40X. All right. Now, the eyepiece and the uh, eyepiece tube actually has a magnification in there of 10 times as well. So the very first one, it says four times normal vision. You're like, well, good, that's not that very good. Four times 10 is 40. 10 times 10 is 100. And this is 400 times your normal vision for the blue one. All right, so big difference as you go along here. You'll need to take your slide and put it on the stage. The stage is the flat piece here that will hold it. And as you put it on there, Sometimes you'll have these mechanical stage uh, clips, which is a little clip right here. I'll hold it open for you, as you can see. And it's just a little clip right here. You can use this lever to open it up and it holds the slide right into place. That slide can be moved around. You don't have to move it manually with your hand. They have controls right here on the side, which allow you to move the slide from left to right and up and down as you want, okay? So here's another look at it, as you can see. That little bar moves and the slide moves accordingly. So there's the, that. Now, when you go to carry a microscope, you want to be very careful because it's a high dollar piece of equipment. You have the arm, which is back here, and you have the base at the bottom. So as you carry the microscope, always do, use two hands, one on the arm, one on the base. Okay. Now, some other finer details as you start using the microscope are pretty important too. One of which is the fine focus and the coarse focus which are these knobs right down here. Now, if you can see it, there's a small knob and a big knob. The big knob is the coarse focus. Coarse meaning big, granular, things like that. The fine focus, the tiny knob, is for fine movements. Now, when you're using this microscope, you always want to start with the stage 
all the way down. So you take your course focus and make sure it's down before you put anything on. You always make sure that you start with your lowest objective lens, which in this case is the 4X or 40X. So I've got it there, and then I can use my course focus on that one, and I bring it up until I see the image in the eyepieces. Once I see it, I try to center it using my mechanical stage controls, and then I try to get it crystal clear again with my course focus. After I have done that, I then rotate the nose piece to the 10X or the 100X, right? And as I look at it, I then from here on out use the small fine focus. I no longer use the course focus. If I use this, it will move the stage too fast and it could jam the objective lens right through the slide and break it, which means you have to pay for the slide or if it's damaged the microscope, pay for the microscope. So heed my warnings, please. All right, now, in addition to that, okay, there's some ways you can image things with different light. So spin this around. If you look on the bottom, you see this piece right down here. And that allows the light to go up or down, sometimes creating different shadows or images um, may have more depth to them. So using that light up and down can help considerably when looking at things that are different sizes, shapes, and thicknesses. You also have what is called, that was the, or the condenser. You also have what is called the iris, which is underneath here. It's a little lever that can actually turn the light. You can see it. it. Can turn the light from bright to nothing. So, like the iris in your eye will close and open, allowing the light in or out. So, the same concept applies to this here. Okay. So, we got our light switches at the base. We also sometimes need to change the amount of light we're receiving from the light bulb in addition to the iris. Over here on the side, you have a light control switch, which is a dimmer switch, essentially. As you look in there, if it's really bright, you can turn it down to like a 1. As you go up in value, like to 10, it becomes much more bright. Okay? So that is the basics of the microscope. So, again, some of the highlights. Remember, always start with the stage down and on the lowest power. When you get done with the microscope, you need to return it to the lowest objective lens Put the stage down, unplug it, wrap the cord around the base nicely, and then put the cover slip back on, which is a dust guard, just to make sure that there's no dust getting on the objective lenses, like so. And that is the Microscope Basics. Thanks for tuning in.